This Millstone subdivision uh, area here is worst affected. Uh, 30 some odd homes, approximately uh, outbuildings. Uh, a lot of people displaced, and uh, as you see the devastation here, just uh, hit a lot of areas, missed a few, but got some of them. Well, it started, as you know, it started Sunday afternoon around 3.15 ish, thereabouts. Before uh, to be a barbecue pit, embers that started fire, spread through this area. Numerous firefighters, uh, Texas Forest Service, U.S. Forest Service responded. Uh, we've got firefighters from all over the region that have come up here traveling around the area, hitting hot spots that are flaring back up. The biggest problem we had yesterday was the wind, which kicked back up and it spread it to the northern locations, north of this location. The current situation is this fire is 5,800 acres uh, with uh, potential for growth. Uh, we have uh, estimated, as of this morning, 35% containment. Uh, we've seen in the previous days, though, that those containment lines have been uh, breached due to extreme fire activity, so that may be a generous number at this point. Um, our crews are actively engaged in structure protection. That's our number one priority. Uh, because of the volatile nature of this fire, uh, we want to provide protection of life first, and thus the reason for the evacuations. Um, and uh, protection property second and third natural resources. Uh, so we're having to let some areas burn in an effort to protect the remaining homes that have not been impacted. Um, we do believe that we've lost upwards of 30 homes uh, to date on this fire and numerous outbuildings, including uh, multiple vehicles. Uh, the good news is we've saved a lot more homes than have been lost. Yeah, what residents really need to understand is they have a lot of control over whether their house is impacted by a wildfire. And they can do that in a couple of ways. Uh, one is by making sure their structure is fire resistant, by having a non-combustible roof, by making sure that they have non-combustible siding, and they don't have attachments like wooden decks uh, that can act as a fuse if fire is burning in their area, or if they do so, that they've cleared an area around it. Actually, I was across the street at a friend's house and I seen smoke, big heavy smoke, and uh, we tried to find it. I seen it was coming, it was too big, couldn't stop it. Mm -hmm never seen anything like it in my life. It, it was the best I can describe it as a F3, F4 tornado made of fire. The fire was as tall as the trees. You can see it burnt. The wall of fire, it was unstoppable.